He joins us again. This is like two Mondays in a row, Cameron, where people are jumping in the duck pond. It has been nonstop at Boone. Where does this rank in terms of all-time Septembers for App State football? I'll tell you what. I've been having this conversation with people because everybody's like, can you really compare to Michigan? Can you compare to ripping the goalpost out and going running around with them, taking them to the chancellor's doorstep? And I'm like, that was one day. This is two weeks of nonstop ridiculousness that is warranted. And I mean, they had like college game day was just here like, like that. It was hard to really put into perspective until you're right there mm-hmm. and you can't even see the grass on Sanford Mall there for college game day. That was the, that was the one thing I was curious about because I, I saw the videos uh, start to show up Saturday morning. Um, what time? What time did you get out there for game day? So. I had the pleasure that I didn't have to sit there and wait forever because I was out there shooting for it. So I just got to show up at 7 a.m. But people were there from early lunchtime on Friday, just sitting out there. They had food. They had their blankets, pillows, and were just waiting out there. And by around dinner time on Friday night, all of Sanford Mall was filled out with people just laid out, lined around, and then people just out playing football in the field too, wasting time. Have you jumped in the duck pond yet? Uh, personally, no, I have not. I have now seen probably a good few thousand people do it, but me, no, I, um, I'm not sure what's in there. I just like to watch, you know, I just like to watch. Cameron, <laughs> if, it's, if, it's wait, nice whoa, Cameron, if Marty Smith could wait, jump wait. in there with an expensive suit, I mean, come on now. But that broke my heart, man. Whoa. Like that is such a nice suit and I'm sure he's got like 8,000 of them. But that is such a nice suit. Like, like you could have just given it to me first. I mean, come on now. I, I would use that suit. I recently saw a picture of myself in my parents' house. I took a picture. took like a selfie. And I said, man, if I could only told that younger kid a couple of things right now. Cameron, how old are you? I'm 21 now. All right, Cameron. You you go to App State, obviously. Mm-hmm. Jump in the freaking pond, yes, man. Get in the pond, Cameron. What are you, what are you doing, <laughs> bud? Come on. What are you doing? Hey, I'll tell you If what, you can't you, swim, you know just what? say right can, now, I can't we can swim. make an agreement. I can swim. Okay, I can swim. get, get your ass in the a, pond then, dude. Come on. I tell fun. you, you know what? We can make an agreement. We can make an agreement. If this team <laughs> turns a cotton bowl bid and wins out, I'll jump in the duck pond. What? Why are you waiting for that? That's the you thing, never man. Had, you had you had just your had chances. Had this, you just had this. I don't chances, Cameron. <laughs> don't wait for the cotton Come bowl. Come on. I just get to enjoy it. I don't have to jump in the water to enjoy it. All right, so this is, uh, on a serious note, before we say goodbye, you, you mentioned the possibilities of what App State can do, and teams sometimes will take one of these, holy crap, we were fortunate to win moments, and then just kind of go from there. You get that belief. What do you think this App State team is capable of now that they're getting into the meat of the Sun Belt schedule? Well, obviously this Saturday you face JMU. That's a reiteration of an old rivalry from the FCS days. Like there's a lot there. That team is very, very good. And I think the Troy game really says a lot because they should have lost that game. I was out of it. I was like, oh, we lost. Like this is the biggest, let, may, maybe the biggest letdown in App State history sure. to have college game day, have that moment and lose. And it ended up being the best story well, second best story. Had, had that FCS happened, history. Cameron, then you would have been right in line with NC State and Carolina. Oh, game day's here? Mm. And then we had a massive disappointment? NC State and Carolina can't relate. Florida State. Oh, yeah. Miami. Oh, yeah, I hear it. I hear it. Then you, then you would have fit right in with the Wolfpack and the Tar Heels. But no, you pulled it off. <laughs> you pulled it off. No, but I'm, mm-hmm. I am and curious. you just got to ride it out. I am curious, like, how they're going to ride this out at this point. Because, I mean, the Sun Belt's difficult. We get this. You know, you can point to App State with Chase Bryce being a little bit of an older team, but everybody's older now. Everybody's got this sort of thing going on. I'm legitimately curious how far they can take this thing. Well, I don't think there's a limit right now in regards to Sunbelt play. They've proved that regardless of whatever roster changes they have to deal with every year, they can constantly compete. And your your old Cinderella like Coastal is not really that star-studded team and they were they took him down last year and louisiana doesn't have billy napier anymore mm-hmm. although they're a very strong team and that kind of opens the door as we get later into conference play Uh oh cameron looks like you're saved we just got a tweet from a, from fr- from phil on twitter friend mm-hmm. of mine has a freshman at app about 25 kids got sick 
with bacteria infections after jumping in the duck pound after the A and M win. So maybe yeah, the, maybe so you're no the smart thanks. one. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I, that's what I say last week. I don't know what's in there. If are you we can get sure? a scientist, somebody out there, get a little thing in there and test the water. Go ahead. Are you but sure it was the bacteria in the duck pond and not booze? I'm just saying. After another big win? <laughs> anyway. Well, you put those two together. Yeah, good point. Pick good up. point. Yes. Hey, Cameron, we appreciate you coming on again. It's been a hell of a couple of weeks at Boone. It's been awesome. You know, oh, yeah, be, awesome. Being 21 on a college campus for this stuff to happen in the last couple of weeks has got to be amazing. Enjoy it, all right? Mm-hmm. Will do. Thanks for having me.